<laughs> Bye, Mama. <laughs> we'll see you in like eight days. Come on, Kinsley. Oh, nine days? Come on, Kinsley. Flight's only half full. Oh, we got a new baby right here. We got leg room. We have leg room. <laughs> in LA. I'm very happy. It's less weird this time coming back home than it was the first time. The first time I went to Texas to start renovating the house in January and then I didn't come back until like June. Yeah like early June. So that was like five months pretty much it was like the end of january to the beginning of june so like five months it felt so weird being here and then this time was just two months so it wasn't it's 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 not it's not as crazy but the weather here is so nice a lot less hot than it is in texas um so today we're gonna run some errands i realized that i have i have another set of makeup here kind of like my half set my my half full bottles of stuff um but there are a few things that i actually don't have like my super goops foundation and some brushes i don't have a duplicate set of brushes maybe go to ikea for romeo i have a doctor's appointment you know stuff like that stuff i needed to come back for and just like kind of take care of um so it's good to be back so um i don't know what our first stop is but we will see you there so we are in ikea dawn on me that I actually do want to look at the cabinet tree because I'm thinking for the kitchen I might do or use Ikea for the boxes but then I'm going to have the fronts custom made or made to fit the exact sizes that I want and all of that but we could at least look at the boxes because the boxes you never see so like this this part this part in here I feel like we could do that Ikea in the kitchen or maybe not maybe I build them we could at least look at the pricing of everything you know it's like if I do Ikea boxes, you know how much that would be for the kitchen. If I make them myself, how much that would be. See, like, it would be this part. See, I hate all those holes. Well, we could fill all those holes. <laughs> would that be insane? See, that looks so ugly. I hate all that. But it would just be the box themselves. And then the doors would be custom with my pink color and everything. Door, door, doors are expensive. Door, door, high cabinet frame, $98. So that's the box. So could we build this for less than $100? If we could build it for less than $100, it would be solid wood. Am I talking myself? <laughs> Am I talking myself out of doing this? I don't know. Even if it's the same price at $98, but it's solid wood, I'd like that better. I hate all the little holes. You see all the yeah, little holes? Me. It's so I mean, I could fill those, but like why? You just put the hole where you actually need it and, and the ones that we built. Explore, you gotta explore all your options. Are you enjoying this room? <laughs> this kitchen's way more modern, but it's the same boxes. You see how it's like all of the cabinets here are built the same way with the Secton box and then the doors are what's different really have to start thinking about the kitchen because we're going to be if i'm going to be building all of the cabinets and that was always my plan if i'm going to be building all of the cabinetry i've got to do finalized dimensions start building the boxes order the cabinet front door the cabinet doors to come in so we can paint them so like in this kitchen this is more of a shaker style cabinet door and then this one 
Sectin wall cabinet, 18 by 14 by 20 is $29. Or 18 by 14 by 40, which is taller, is $40. So that, that other cabinet that I was looking at was pretty big. But look how much the cabinet doors are. So that makes more sense. I'm gonna take a picture of that. This cute little bathroom. <laughs> Cute. This bathroom is actually really cute. Look at the old boards. The shiplap. What are you doing? Oh my god, that, that bathtub's fake. Oh my god, you're gonna tip it. <laughs> this whole vibe in here is really cute. Look at the little no, beams. I mean, the setups are nice. Just... Oh, man. oh, wow. Oh. So this is just like a day full of errands. So we're in Best Buy right now. And Romeo has been bugging me about our vacuum cleaner forever. How long have you been telling me that we need a new vacuum? Probably for a year. And now it's like broken, <laughs> full of broken. Um, so I've been wanting to invest in a Dyson vacuum that is just like really good quality because I feel like every two years or so, we spend a couple hundred dollars on a new vacuum and it's not good, they're not good. Perfect, it'll pick up all the popcorn kernels that you leave on the couch. Who leaves popcorn kernels? You. I don't eat popcorn. Mm -hmm on the couch. So we are going to get this little baby. Here you go. Can you grab it? Yeah. It's only 40 bucks. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's only $40. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I didn't see that was no, that for much. It's like the top of the line vacuum cleaner that exists. Oh, it's vacuum on the market. This is better vacuum itself, like vacuum. <laughs> it better vacuum itself. Ooh, I see fall. Oh my God, so cute. Look how sweet. I like this white one. I really want to add some fall, just few a few fall things. I don't really decorate for fall like this. Like I'll put real pumpkins out, but probably not this year because I won't really be there. But I want like some, just a few little warm little touches around the house. Like I need to take out all of my throws and put those out. Caramel latte. I feel like that's kind of cheesy. Oh wow, I love this pot. That's pretty. Heavy. It's a pretty basket. Oh my gosh, this ladder is precious. That's so cute. Oof, $60. It's a pretty tablecloth. The Grove. Oh, soon enough, it'll be Christmas right here. I will be, oh my gosh. So I'm in Sephora because I need some makeup brushes. I usually use the pro brushes, but these are actually cheaper. But these are like not bad priced. Um, so I got powder brush, my bronzer brush, and also one for my eyeshadow. So this is the CC cream that I use, the Super Goop. My color is 206 Warm. I messed up and bought 215 Neutral and it was like way too late. guys I really like these brushes look how pretty the color is on the stem it's like a nudie yeah it is it's like it's like a nude color less than half the price of like the pro Sephora ones which I guess I thought that those were the only ones they had those are so nice I love the color that's all that's all I needed was brushes and my SPF you guys perfect timing look what just came our HelloFresh box I was like what are we gonna eat for dinner and a special thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I love HelloFresh. <laughs> you guys. So this week on the menu is pork sausage spaghetti bolognese. Bolognese is my favorite Italian dish. I also love Italian food. Meatballs with bulgogi sauce and smothered chicken mushroom. Oh, wait. Cheesy smothered mushroom chicken. All of the meals from HelloFresh come pre-portioned like this, so there is less prep and less food waste, and all of their packaging is made from almost entirely recyclable materials or already recycled content. So we actually easily increased this box to serve four people per meal um, because we're gonna be having some friends over, and I wanted to make sure that we had something here to cook instead of going out. And HelloFresh has so many different meals to pick from every week, and they change every week too, but then they also bring back your favorites. We get to try different things and get out of a recipe rut, and you have all the stuff, I don't have to think about it, or go to the grocery store, which saves 
me time because you know I don't like to go into the grocery store at all. HelloFresh also has more five-star recipes than any other meal kit that you can order. And with HelloFresh, produce gets to you faster than the grocery store, so it arrives at peak freshness and flavor, and it's already in your fridge, saves time and stress, and it's just really effortless. Usually each meal for us takes around 30 minutes to make, but they also have their quick and easy options that are around 20 minutes, so you can get it on the table really quickly. Also save up to 30% by using HelloFresh versus going to the grocery store and picking all of these ingredients yourself. I also saw on the app when I was picking the meals for next week that they have egg bites, like salad kits for lunches or just snacks in the afternoon. This looks so good. I was getting really hungry. So if you guys wanna try out HelloFresh, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code McKenna14 for 14 free meals and free shipping. Let me mm. test, test it. Hot. Hot. But good. Mm. Mm. We're gonna eat. And then tomorrow, I wanna clean and kind of spruce up the house for fall. I got just a few things from Target today, and I wanna pull out some of my other fall things, like my warmer blankets and a little more rust colors and, you know, that type of stuff. So we'll have a fun day tomorrow. Good afternoon. It's not the morning, it's afternoon. <laughs> it actually feels like it's starting to be fall here and I have like darker colors on. I kind of want to decorate for fall a little bit. I mean, I know I'm not going to be here to enjoy it in that way, but I don't really go all out for fall. I do make a few changes that I feel like are just kind of necessary with the change in the seasons. I actually did a blog post on it over on my blog, exomckenna.com. If you haven't checked that out, you should. I did a which seasons I actually decorate for and how. So there's really just three times a year that I change over the decor in my house in some ways. We'll throw some laundry in the washer and dryer and then we'll put together our Dyson, which Romeo says it should clean on its own because of the price tag, but it's just such good quality product that if you're spending the money anyways, you might as well spend it once and have one that lasts. Also, I kind of want to enlist my mom to paint me like a long rectangle piece of art for above the bed. I don't love the art. Well, one is already down. I took one down already. I don't love the art in here. I didn't really love the art when I originally did it in this space and I felt like it could be better, um, but I'm not near the artist my mom is. Also, I get to do laundry in my new laundry room. Comment down below if you've seen the makeover video. I only got to enjoy this laundry room for like three days after I made it over a few months ago and then I went back to Texas. <sighs> it's beautiful. It's everything, everything. Look at this area. I can't, I cannot. <laughs> This is how she acts with the mailman. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait. All right, let's figure out this um, Dyson real quick. So we have a vacuum. Okay. Kinsley, are you gonna help? Dyson comes with a two year warranty too, so bonus. Are you like one of those people that just takes the instructions out and tries to figure it out on your own? I do that with everything. Yes. Wow. Our laundry room is def is is a good size, but there's a lot happening. It's like the door opens and then there's a doorway here. So it's also the back door entry. So there's not really a lot of place to hang something like this. The batteries are charging. So at least there's a plug and ideally it would go like right here, but I just feel it's gonna be more in the way than anything because then the door opens. I feel like since we're renting here, it just makes sense to kind of keep it just in the corner, plugged in right here, and then we'll mount it in our future home. I've kind of collected my thoughts and went through and figured out what more fall 
items I actually had. So here is what we're working with. So obviously here's the living room. Don't look at my working stuff over there. We've got two laptops, my camera's underneath there. Um, but here's the living room and everything's pretty neutral in here already. Also this guy is just, she is thriving. All the pillows are really neutral. The other one of these is actually on my bed. And then we have this whole area here that I love to decorate for different things. I love this little bookcase moment. It's clearly need to vacuum. <laughs> actually, this is pretty rust kind of colored. It's already kind of like fall-like, but we could, you know, jazz it up a little bit. So these are the things that I have. I have another neutral blanket that I love. I feel like this with the tassels is great to kind of layer like on my blanket ladder or something. This one I got from Target last year for Christmas because I wanted to do, and I still will do, this like very like cozy cabin Christmas. I feel like this one wouldn't work, so we'll put that one aside. This guy, which is totally fall for me, this is the fall kind of plaid. It has like the rust orange with the blue. And then over here, I have really pretty dried flowers. I just had it in this basket in my office, but maybe we can put those in some vases. And I have this amber etched glass, which I thought was really pretty and kind of fall. A green one, which I don't know, I had it in my office. Might as well see it. Cause I had all of this, I kind of collect all the stuff in the office that I've been um, thrifting. I have this amber little, little guy. And then this candle holder. I thought this bowl was so pretty. And I feel like instead of investing in overly fall items that tend to be a little more, excuse me, Kinsley. I'd rather invest in stuff like this that I don't have anything like. Like I don't have a shallow bowl like this. This was pretty. I think this is, I thought it was Studio McGee. Oh, it is. It was $35, um, but it was really pretty and like organic if you will. That would be really pretty on the coffee table because our coffee table is dark brown. So I felt like the combination of the two, it would really stand out here and we could kind of do the coffee table differently this year. Mm. What do you think, Kinsley? Also, don't mind the blankets that we have on the couch. We keep those there all the time because of this little girl and Romeo and we eat here, do stuff here. Like it just needs to happen. I thought this candle was really pretty. It was almost like a frosted glass, a frosted amber glass, and it's Harvest Spice. So good. And then I got one very specific, only can be used at fall item, a pumpkin. I thought it was so cute though, it was five bucks. I mean, to have something like this and I can wrap up in like a little box that's fall specific. And a lot of this stuff is something I already had. Oh, I can't wait, that's gonna look so pretty. I like to start with a fresh, eye and a fresh look and not be influenced because this looks good. This is like my best everyday kind of look. So I'm gonna take everything off and then we can go from there. My first thing that I always do is I step back and I look at it and I keep whatever I want to keep there to incorporate. So I love that little light. That's from Ikea and I love it. I got it only for the holidays and I love the warm light because it's kind of like a night light when you walk in the door. So I like having that there and then I also need the Furbo. Well, granted, Kinsley's always in Texas with me, but I need it. So that's step one. And then because, so you see the height of the bookshelf and then the height of the doors and the height of everything else in the house. I like to add something tall here, which is why I had this guy, which I think is necessary, but we could change out the little twigs so they're not just minimal like I had this for spring and before I had it on a black book a lot the my largest book which was nice with a different like I have this book that was on the coffee table which is almost the same size and it's actually green that's nice leaves of grass look how pretty this book is it's very vintagey looking so maybe we could do that underneath And then maybe some of the dried flowers in there. Like maybe like this is really pretty. This looks kind of fall to me, kind of like a mum. This, oh yes. Maybe we can leave that stem in there and then. This grassy stuff. Does this one look weird? 
Huh, it might look weird. It's kind of still just all sticking up straight, but it's really pretty. Or maybe like it needs, this needs to be off to the side more. And then this needs to come over because we're gonna put something else here. And I really liked having the candlesticks up there because I like the candles to be not, like when you think about a candle, you wouldn't really light a candle where there's a top because then you're either gonna get soot on the top or catch something on fire. <laughs> so if I want candles up there, they kind of have to be on the top. So we could do these again. And then let's try the brown candle and let's see what we like about that one. They both look good. <laughs> they both look good. I don't think brown and green. I think that that's too matchy matchy. It's always you start off with your good stuff and then by the time you get to the last shelf, you have like the leftovers that are so hard to make work. Okay, the next thing that I, I like to do is I like to incorporate like items on every shelf to create cohesion between each shelf. So if I have a book here, well, and I usually use what I have the most of. So I have books and this is a bookcase or bookshelf. So, uh, so a book here, a book here, a book here, and ones and then stacks of them. Since a book is on this side, I would put a stack of books on the opposite side on the next shelf so that they are balanced. And since this side's tall, I would make this side tall. So before I actually had all of the colors a little bit mixed, so maybe we could start matching up the colors and that would add some difference. Sometimes I turn books around too when their spine is a little off color. This one wasn't, but I kind of like how it looks when it's turned around. This frame. I really like decorating with empty frames like this for some reason. I feel like it adds height and texture behind, like there's a picture there. Um, I also don't have a picture that small to go in there unless my mom wants to paint me one. And I also have art here, so it's fine without it. Like that collection of stuff looks kind of pretty. I just don't want it to start looking too crowded. Like that looks really good right now, but I need to put something here and I have a shorter bowl, but then it looks really full. And I wanna put this stuff on the coffee table, just kind of random. It's almost like I want it collected together like that, but then it's all shoved over there. That's weird. <gasps> okay, maybe that works. Like that? Still looks a little full, but we took out the black book and shifted this like that. Does that look lighter? That's pretty actually. I think that might work. And then we could use the black books to draw the black of the bottom of this lamp down. Is this an entertaining process to see? I have so much fun decorating like this, like just getting to compile all of my pretty thrifted or DIY things that I've done. I think I actually do have some faux little pumpkins, natural pumpkins in storage. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Ooh, maybe the black book could go underneath this to bring the black in. Okay, this is what I've got going on here. This is all stuff I already have. So of course I get down to the bottom and it's not the best. Um, love this, love the brown that it just changes up what it was before. This is pretty, I like it. I like that we took the black book out and moved it down there so that it was not as cluttered. Um, and then this looks all right. I don't love this. I feel like it's missing some center height um that's what i love about this shelf i don't have anything else i just that's it that's all i got i mean it looks refreshed for fall it also kind of looks exactly the same <laughs> the coffee table i have all the like the stuff obviously that we always need or i like to have on the coffee table to anyone wondering if this diy coffee table topper is holding up it is i love this coffee i love this diy i cut all the boards at like different angles 
um, to make this like, unique pattern. And then I sealed it three times with polycrylic sealer. And it, we eat on it, we do everything on it. And I love it. Let's start with the one we really like. Well, everyone does their coffee table a little different. Some people put it in the center um, because they don't like it too off to the side because you can knock it over and um, it that kind of throws off the balance. The reason I like to kind of like stage stuff off to the left is because we use this countertop a lot. I work here, my laptop, I just, I like to be in the living room. So to move all of this stuff every time doesn't make sense for us like functionally. I also have this that I like. We could put some more of those flowers in it. It's possible I also don't know how to style a bowl when I don't have anything to go in a bowl. What do people put in their bowl? Should we style it in the middle? Do be, be daring? Wait, okay, this looks really pretty. That looks good. This is not, this is working. What is, this, this is a work in progress. That looks good. Here's attempt one. It's just random things there do you know what i mean like it's just like it's too much there's no focal point there's no like there's it's just all it what is that no okay let's try again okay this looks a little better to me i mean i i can't design in the center for some reason and i don't think that i really have the right elements like i think that this is a little weird round vase in a bowl like why would you put a vase in a bowl but i'm kind of into the way that it looks like it adds like some height there which is kind of cool this makes sense because this is all the stuff that i use i don't actually use the snuffer at all like maybe this book is too much maybe i'll live with this for a little bit and then we can see i can put this blanket on the couch i don't know i feel like i've lost my touch <laughs> Like there's color there. I need pillows, you know? Like I need to bring that color into three places. So there, a little bit here, and then some pillows would like really round it out. But that don't have any. Kinsley, I don't have any. Oh, and then up here, we could just pour the brown and add some more dried flowers in there. One more change. This is this one was this is the one that I had. It's very wintry. So I want to find something like that's actually really pretty. Wait, should we try that one or that one? That's nice actually, because then it has the gray in it that looks in the gray in here. And then the gray in the concrete, in the tiling in the, it's really nice for stuff that I already had. The only new thing is this pumpkin, but I think that's really pretty. It looks a little more fall. Now for the moment I've been waiting for all day is this vacuum cleaner. Let's see if it's charged and we'll use it. Kidsley's going to go crazy. Kinsey, are you ready to see? Okay, if you have it on auto, oh, it's, look at a, what? Ew. You guys, this is just from the rug and this area right here. I think it's safe to say it's working. We haven't had a vacuum in a while because ours has been broken. And that's crazy. Sorry if you're grossed out by dust. It's just dust. It tells you how much time is left on the battery and it's a lot quieter than a regular vacuum or like our last one. Is it worth it? I mean, it's working and it's got cool features and it doesn't have, it is kind of heavy. Well, it's not heavier than the other ones. Maybe it's just, Kinsley, really? Look at her. No. Ah! I love decorating and making cute moments everywhere. That just like <laughs> makes me so happy. So I vacuumed this part of the area. I'm definitely not gonna clean the whole house today. I just wanted to kind of decorate and work on this like front area. And my friend Jerrica is on her way here from Orange County. Okay, we're gonna go to dinner and then, and then I'll come back home and edit probably. So I'll catch up with you guys. I think I'm gonna change. So I will update you guys in a little bit. It's much later now. Finished washing all of the sheets, putting it back on. 
I had some dinner with Jerrica. It was the best dinner. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't have seen that a few months ago. Um, our friends Jerrica and Billy got engaged and they're getting married. And she asked me to be one of her bridesmaids. And I'm very, very excited. She is one of my oldest friends and I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed decorating with me today. I have fun. Romeo came home and he was like, wow. It's like, it's so clean in here. And I was like, did you see all my decorating? He goes, wow. Also, you guys, if you wanted to try out HelloFresh, don't forget you get 14 free meals by going to HelloFresh.com and using McKenna14 at checkout. And you'll get that 14 free meals. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am going to turn on something and probably watch 30 seconds of it and knock out. Because <laughs> I'm so tired for some reason today. Um, but I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Are you excited you're in LA? Yes?